Welcome back, guys, to Fallout 4 Rise of the Minutemen. We just defused the situation here at the Drumlin Diner, and we have a new vendor that we can talk to, who is Trudy. We've already done a little bit of business with her. We're still kind of short on caps. We only have 2,400. Uh, we do have quite a bit of purified water back at home. Uh, the industrial water purifier has been working nonstop for the last week or so. Uh, but we are headed over in that direction. Let's get out our shotgun and hit the trail. Look at this. A convenient little hole. Now, I don't know if there, other than this little, oh, this is just a little lake. I was going to say, I don't know if there's any, uh, any land way to get here other than that little bridge, but didn't realize that it was that simple. All right, so welcome to the Starlight Drive-In. We'll get that notification here in just a second as we enter through this broken down gate. I have never entered from this way before. Okay, we gotta keep our eyes open. Must have been something exactly. to see a movie on a screen that big. We've got company. Watch out for the mole rat. Oof. We've got to get out of here before we turn into ghouls. Why am I taking still taking red damage? Is it from the mole rats? I don't remember mole rats actually doing that much red damage to you. If any red damage. Alright, so. Starlight driving. Corpses everywhere. <laughs> Corpses absolutely everywhere. We got still got hostiles. Right there. Damn it. Where you at? Come on, Preston. Get a bigger gun than that. Steady. Take him down. <laughs> that splatter. Clear the starlight driving. We've done it. This place... I gotta say, this place is almost as beautiful as the Red Rocket truck stop. I love the design of this place. Nuka Cherry billboard. Little saucer up on the roof. Giant screen over there. And... I have a mod that would allow us to actually turn that projector back on. It's not active at the moment, but if you guys would like to see some old pre-war uh, videos and things playing on the old screen, let me know. Now I'm trying to see if we could see the Skyship Welder. It should be like right there. Hmm. Where is that at? No, that's the... Uh, I'm sorry, that I got it completely wrong in the last couple of videos. That is not the that is not the Revere satellite away. That is satellite station Olivia. Yeah, we can't see the skyship welder. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. It's a thing of beauty. I'll take you there in the next video. Right now, let's finish up with this. Let's get a small little settlement set up after we clear out everything that's inside. Is that a satellite dish? No, a spaceship? That might be a satellite dish. In here, you can see the workstation. Novice lock. Shouldn't be a problem for us. And yes, I got rid of that bar thing up on the top. Oop. Almost. Oop. Lost it. <laughs> I'm not good at lock picking, folks. Got it. Got it. Oh, and we have a level up. We are level 12. We are very close to being able to get the next level of gun nut, which we are going to want badly. And we also need to get the next level of science for a lot of stuff that we need to do. 
I've gotten, you can see I've gotten quite a few things. Uh, this one allows us to establish supply lines, which we're going to do as soon as we get at least four new settlers, I think. And we're going to get uh, stores and workstations as soon as possible. Uh, what do we want to get right now, though? Um... I don't think I want that. I don't want that. Not right now, anyway. Um. Can't get that yet. But we can get that, only we're not using automatic weapons. Let's get this. Buying and selling prices at vendors are better. That is definitely something that we can use. Next thing we'll get is um, lockpick. Well, we already have, we can already do advanced locks, but I'd like to be able to get expert locks. Or should we do hacker? Hacker might be useful because we've got a lot of terminals that we're going to have to to hack out. So let's activate that. Now, we don't have anything that we can scrap just yet. This thing comes with some scrap in it. So that's nice. Um, let's see. I want to... No. Sort. What do you... No. Sometimes there's a way that you can see junk. Oh, well. Like the scrap items and things. All right. We need to explore this place. Uh, what does our quest say for this? Build and activate a recruitment radio beacon. Alright, let's clear out the place and then we'll do that. I can hear a radio already. Now we gotta be careful because of that. I don't even know where that bomb was. There we go. All right. There are a lot of... Ow. No, no, put, put it away. There we go. I cannot see where that was. But we'll take the caps. It was a bottle cap mine, which is why we took so much damage from it. Let's top ourselves off. We have a lot of stim packs. It's fine. I don't know what that little flash was. A lot of items to loot. Flip lighters and things like that. Love coming out up here. I'm going to be setting up a guard post up here. I believe one of the spawn points is right over there outside the gates. This is always fun to come up here and check things out. And this is where I believe we're able to, yeah, there's the projector right there. That massive thing is the projector. What am I walking on? 10 millimeter pistol. Oh, we didn't have to buy one. Okay. Formal hat. I'll take that. A couple of rounds. Might as well. This poor guy. All right. Oh, is that a fire extinguisher? It is, thank you. Now we're not gonna be able to set up any workstations here or anything like that, so it's gonna be a while since we could, until we can actually like use this as a proper base. But hello, Nuka Cherry. Until then, we could at least get a little bit of a settlement going here. Come on, Preston, you're in the way. You could call a bottle. All right, and that's boarded up. Can't loot the bags, I don't think. Light bulb is good for copper, I believe. Nothing in the new cola machine. 
and this thing has been knocked down, which is really unfortunate. It would have been really cool to have both sides of this. Alright, let's drop off the scrap that we've gotten already. I'll add a couple of things that are in here. One thing I do want to do is get rid of those radioactive barrels right in front of us. And that is exactly why. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take a right away. Alright, now we can use this as a fresh water source, okay, no red damage. It was just the barrels that were causing the red damage. Now a lot of people don't know this about the Starlight Drive-In, but there, you can see it right there. There's a staircase inside of the screen. There is actually a building right here. <laughs> Almost nobody knows about this little place. Got it. Nice. Pretty handy with the bobby pin. Thank you, Preston. Lot of scrap in here. Holy crap. Freaking field day. I swear. Economy wonder glue that's good. Oil good for uh, making turrets. We got a wooden crate. then you are seriously in the way there, buddy. All right, what else we got? We got food. Oh my goodness, a fusion core. We only had one, ladies and gentlemen. Now we have two. All right, Preston, I'm going to need you to get out of the way. Hey. Go ahead. Over here. I'm on it, General. Get going. Don't just walk. All right. Got a 308 round right there. Got a little bit of gold from that gold plated watch. Whoop. Beer recipe Gold Brahmin Lager. I don't know where these come from. I believe these are from a mod, but I don't know which one. If you know, please let me know. I have never seen those before. And there was a random event one time that absolutely scared the crapola out of me. Nothing in that. Oh, let's get some gold. Freaking rad roaches. Pre Preston, really? Hey, what is it? Go check that out. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> yeah, sure. Dandy boy apples. I'll take the fan. I got it. Aha. Let us see if Preston. Hey. Okay. What am I doing? Won't be able to pick this. Up. Wait there. I'll stand ready. Grab anything useful. I wish I could help. Nah, uh, he can't do it. Okay. Don't worry, Preston. We know you're useful for some things. I think. So. I think. <laughs> All right, now more scrap, shovel, gas canister. There's some jet right there. Cooler with some psycho. Oh, wrong side. Let's go around so we can go up the stairs. Oh, we can put that away. I do believe that there are traps here, though, so we got to be careful. Oh, and here is the uh, the cooking station and a little room. There's a rad roach meat, a machete, plenty of stuff to scrap. Replace our broken bobby pin. Lots of food.
baby, uh, baby thing. There we go. All right, up we go. This is where we got to be careful. I do believe there's a tripwire or something up here. Something. Oh, hello. When it's stout, give you plus one to charisma. Was it really only in the other room? Huh. Maybe they patched it out. Could swear that there used to be like a trip wire or a pressure plate or something that you could step on. And that's it. Laundered green dress. Back storage key so we didn't even need to pick the lock. And a sweet roll. Yes, Skyrim reference. Alright, we're not in power armor, so we're not jumping. That's for damn sure. Take the lantern. I believe it's got oil in it. No idea where Preston went. Where are you at, Preston? Is he still in here? What are you doing? Heads up. Point it out. Come on. Okay. There we go. Alrighty, let's go and turn in this little bit of scrap. There we go. Let's get to cleaning up the area. Let me really quick check and see how much time I have left in this video. At about seven minutes, we can at least scrap some stuff. Let's see. Get rid of the speaker. This place is going to be amazing for Sim Settlements. There is so much room here to make a little city. Are we getting any... No, just steel. I was hoping we can get some circuits or something out of this. We might need scrapper perk. All of these old... Blown out cars, people were watching movies. It, it, actually, it doesn't make sense that people would be here at the drive in because the bomb fell during the day. Hello, Rain. Anyway, not that important. There's a fuse and a broken light bulb. I think that gets us some copper. Man, it is pouring. Preston, what did you do? Did you just summon the rain gods or something? We got something else out of that. We do need to get some wood here. Let's grab a cluster of trees. I don't know if there's any other trees that we can get over there. But we can scrap these boxes for wood. Not a lot, but something. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the EMB that I have installed. Look at that! Not to mention the natural weather and climate mod. Holy moly. Wow. <laughs> we might want to see if there's a chair inside of the, uh, the diner. My word. Let's do that. Let's go see if there's a chair inside. And then we can sit on. As a matter of fact, if we stand that chair up, we can. 
stand this up right here. Can we not pick it up? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, well, that's fine. Why would you want to make an airplane seat? <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. Sit down a second. And we'll wait. It's five, so let's wait 15 hours. And guys, while this is going, I'm gonna say goodbye. I'm gonna say, if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and a comment down below if you have any comments or suggestions or questions shoot them on to me down there and if you really like the video please hit the subscription button and the bell notification icon to be alerted when new videos are released if you have enjoyed fallout 4 rise of the minutemen i will be back fairly soon later guys tax day